You know, before you get into your next ride share, you're going to want to see what News 4 Investigates has learned. We started looking into how drivers are screened after a series of troubling encounters here. Consumer investigator Lindsay Bramson has what you need to know. She's screaming, get the F out, I'm going to hit you. May 2018, Laura Moore claims she was assaulted by an Uber driver and hit with a metal shank. One month later, an Uber driver is accused of hitting a passenger with a baseball bat in Memphis. These are just two reasons why rideshare users want to know who are the men and women behind the wheel. We have no relationship with the driver whatsoever, so you don't know who that person is. Some cities like Portland, Oregon conduct secondary background checks. Documents obtained by our NBC station in Portland reveal 168 cases in which city inspectors either suspended or revoked driver's permits. The reason? Their criminal or driving history should have prevented them from becoming a driver in the first place. So I think the more background check and scrutiny, the better. But News 4 Investigates has learned that double check isn't happening in Nashville. Right now, the city doesn't get data from ride sharing companies. That is correct. Do you wish you could get that? Absolutely. State law prevents anyone from accessing driver's records who work for private companies. Sitting here today, I couldn't offer an, a single Nashvillian a promise that, hey, Nashville will be doing better on this soon because we can't. So if ride sharing drivers with criminal paths were driving in Portland, how do we know it isn't happening here? Uber says they rerun criminal and motor vehicle checks each year. A spokesperson also tells me it receives notifications through new technology if a driver is involved in a new offense. And according to Lyft, it uses similar technology that is constantly monitoring criminal and driving histories. Any driver who does not pass both the annual and continuous screenings is not allowed to drive for Lyft. How does somebody you're driving know you're not a criminal? I don't know how they would know. I mean, this Uber driver says people just have to trust have the to system. Trust the, uh, just knowing that there is a secondary uh, background check in line, basically for whoever you're getting in the car with, would make everybody feel better. And some extra steps you can take to keep yourself safe. Text someone you know next time you get into an Uber or Lyft. Let them know where you're going and when you're going to be home. You can also use the 911 feature on the Uber app in case of an emergency. For News 4 Investigates, I'm Lindsay Bramson.